One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, here we go. and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you notice that I seem particularly happy today, it's because I just checked my YouTube channel and I hit 50,000 subscribers today and I'm like, I can't even comprehend that. I really started from the bottom. Like, it took me at least seven to eight months to even get a thousand subscribers. Like, I remember every day maybe I would get one subscriber or something and I would freak out. So to get to 50,000 just means so much to me. All right, enough with the sappy talk. Today I'm going to show you how to do a facial at home. So a lot of you guys might already know that my mother has a skincare line, but we also have a medical day spa located in San Diego. So let's just say that I have had my fair share of facials in my day. Now the main reason why you want to either give yourself a facial or get a professional facial at least every month or so is because our skin is the largest organ in our body. On our body. In our body. The skin is the largest organ in our body. It's not really in our body. Let's try that again. The skin is the largest organ in the body. But because our skin is an external organ, it's constantly being exposed to all of the elements. So pollution, chemicals, dirt, bacteria, grime, all of that stuff is accosting our skin constantly. So we need to take the time to fully clean it out. It's going to make our skin look nice and pretty and glowing. And it's also going to prevent the development of blackheads, whiteheads, breakouts, all of that stuff that we don't want. So here is Incoming call. Really? Incoming call. Really? So without further ado, here is how to give yourself a facial at home. So we want to start by washing your face with the gentle pH balance cleanser. Just double check to make sure the cleanser you're using does not contain sulfates. This is what it will look like listed on the bottle. These are drying ingredients and very irritating to the skin, so you want to avoid them. So to properly wash your face, you want to massage the cleanser into your skin and then rinse it off with tepid water. So splash your face about five to 10 times to rinse off the cleanser, then gently pat your skin dry with a clean washcloth. We don't want to pull and tug the skin so it's important that you pat your skin dry so i follow this with an eye makeup remover to remove any lingering eye makeup then i also like to apply a little lip treatment and also put some olive oil or castor oil onto my eyelashes as a little eyelash treatment as well the steam we're going to be using later is going to allow these to fully penetrate into our skin to absorb all of the vitamins and nutrients then we're going to go prep our steam by filling up a large pot with water and set that on the stove to boil while you wait for this to boil, you can go ahead and wet a hand towel and wring it out so it's just damp and not dripping wet. Then I put this in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds until it's warm to the touch, but definitely not too hot. And go ahead and lay down and put that warm towel onto your face. The steam and warmth from the towel will just begin to open up your pores and it's also really relaxing and a nice way to wait for your water to boil. So once you hear the water starting to boil, then go on over, remove the lid, and turn down the heat so it's just at a gentle boil. Then I like to add a green tea bag to the water. This infuses it with antioxidants, and it's also a little aromatherapy treatment and smells so nice. Then you want to very carefully put your face over the steam and let it penetrate for a full five minutes. Next, you're going to want to exfoliate with a gentle exfoliating cleanser. This is going to get rid of any remaining dead skin cells and the leftover dirt and grime that has just come out of your pores. So if you have a brush, you can use it here. I personally don't use one because I have very, very sensitive skin and I don't feel that I need it. But when you're exfoliating, whatever you choose to use, be very gentle and be sure to never tear the skin. So in a professional facial, this is the point where you would receive your extractions, but I do not recommend that you do extractions at home. You could cause serious scarring to your face, so definitely leave those to the professionals. Next is time to apply our skin mask. Since it's winter time, my skin is feeling really dry and tight at the moment, so I'm using a hydrating mask. This is a new mask that I'm testing out that currently I'm obsessed with. Next, I prep some spa water. I'm adding some fresh squeezed lemon and also some cucumber slices, and I saved two cucumber slices to use on my eyes. So cucumbers contain two different acids that reduce swelling and puffiness around the eye area, so this is a great little natural trick you can use. And then relax with your mask on for 10 to 15 minutes. 
You could put on some good music, take a little nap, or you could even take a bath, whatever is going to feel nice and relaxing for you. So next you want to grab a non-comedogenic oil to use for our facial massage. So I'm gonna put up here on the screen a list of oils that are non-pore clogging. These are the oils you wanna go for, and you don't wanna use these other oils that can clog the pores. So now I will be demonstrating different techniques you can use to give yourself a facial massage. I highly recommend you do this, not just for an at-home facial, but also on a daily basis. It's going to improve the circulation and blood flow to your face, which makes your skin look more plump and glowing, and in particular, it will help if you have any dark circles or puffiness around your eye area. So it's kind of difficult for me to verbally explain here what I'm doing. You could just watch some of these techniques and try to mimic them on your own, but the basic gist here is just that you really want to fully massage all the different areas of your skin, around your temples, around your eyes, and then also you could finish it off with pressing down the different pressure points around your face, and you of course cannot forget your neck. Then you wanna finish everything off by applying some skincare products. I'm quite dry at the moment, like I mentioned, so I'm going to finish off by applying a hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid, which is my favorite moisturizing ingredient, alpha lipoic acid, which helps reduce skin redness and even out the skin tone, and then finish everything with my favorite eye treatment that has a rollerball applicator, which I really, really love. Okay guys, so that's it for my at-home DIY facial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment of other skincare related videos you would like to see me do in the future. And I'll see you next week with a Valentine's themed video. Okay, bye guys. Grapes. 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 Hey, do we have any grapes? Find tomorrow.